have to ask Chilla. Okay. Oh, shit. We talked about Shooter's music. Yeah. There was two people that were in Shooter's music for a long time. Mm-hmm. That <laughs> I've, always, I've always been a fan of, you know, but I know that you guys had a falling out and that a lot of people yeah. said, you're here on the show. I wanted to give you a chance. I wanted to know if there's anything you want to say about that. Um, yeah. Yeah, what's up? This is High Street. I'm Dallas Rose. It's naughty here, yo. Where's Jerry O? Bro, he's not here because you know why? Why? Because it's Kate Verde and Women's Day. And two things Jerry O don't respect is Kate Verde and Women's. <laughs> so I feel like he just dissed us. Yeah, I mean. That's mad disrespectful. I'm not going to lie. Like, he, 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 was, he, he said he wasn't here because he's sick. But that, no, that is the real reason. That's I'm going to expose him. That's the real reason. What, that he... I'm gonna rat him. He told yeah, me, yeah, he was like, fuck that shit. Thought. He was like, fuck he that shit. He ain't shit, to be honest. But, but that's okay, because I caught you. I stand with you, Jerry. I feel like I had to be here, you know, for, for, for our guests, but. Not because, okay. You know. It's cool. They cool, though. <laughs> I, like, I like the song. Why you never love me when you love me like you say you do? No, I love that. Song, that <laughs> shit is a banger. Fine. What's up, Side Street, Capo? What's going on with you, buddy? Welcome back to High Street, bro. <laughs> good looks, good welcome, looks. Welcome. Chiller, welcome back. Appreciate it, man. Let it be here. Before we dive into this, though, we got to promote the chamber. When is the chamber? The chamber is Saturday, March 30th. That's this weekend. Mm. Um, it's going to start at 7 p.m. and it's going to be in Cambridge at Diaspora. And it's oh, it's crazy. at Diaspora? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Dude, I went there for the first time. You guys been to Diaspora yet? Mm-mm. In Cambridge, it's like a, a smoke friendly venue, basically. No. It's nice, man. It's like a nice bar downstairs in Cambridge near Harvard Square, and you can smoke as much as you want inside, yeah. basically. Yeah. I've never been there. It's fucking it's awesome, lit. dude. I went there the other night for this like party, this event thing, and I was like, holy shit. 33 Dunster Street. I'll see y'all there. Yeah, so pull up Saturday night. You guys fuck with the chamber? You checked one of those out yet? Yeah, not in person, but on the internet. On the yeah. Internet, social media, that shit look tough. Yeah. It's oh, lit. Definitely. It's a good time. Nah, yeah, that shit look mad competitive. Oh, yeah, good luck. Fine. Yeah, it is like heated competition. Yeah, but it's fun too. Like, it's friendly. You get it's over supportive it. competition. Yeah. You know? You're like, I don't know, because everybody's involved. Mm-hmm. So it's not like you ever feel like you're missing out. Like people show love and, you know, mm-hmm. but it's cool. But Well, good luck. Thank you. I know you got a dope show mix. Because of you, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we're here to talk about not 
virtual reality, not augmented reality. The real, real, real. We're here to talk about real reality. Right, Cabo? Damn. Yeah. (laughs) Real reality. About time. Yeah, it is. So it's the project. It's dropping ASAP. Might be even as soon as Friday, right? Yeah. Did we square that away yet? For sure. And we're waiting on a few features. Oh, really? Okay. A few, but we're oh, we're you were talking about you were waiting on cover art maybe too, right? I had Next a good so. idea, dude. What's up? But it would cost like $3,500. That's the problem. Okay, we're listening. So it's real reality. You could get the Apple Vision Pros and smash them so that you're seeing through it. <laughs> Instead of augmented reality, you're seeing real reality. Dog, st- just wasting bread. <laughs> did I just spoil the cover? Yeah, you did. But I say you just wanted about the own. You need the- yeah, yeah, Well, I guess yeah. it was a good idea. That's <laughs> fucking real reality. That's funny, dude. Fuck it, Fuck it man. That's, That's a dope cool. idea. Then great. Nice did you actually? You didn't actually smash the Apple Vision Pros, did you? Not yet, but we was literally talking about it this morning. Damn. Literally. That's so crazy. That'd be pretty you sweet. Go. You like? Was you listening in on the conversation or something? No. You don't have no like. No, I don't have a wire on them. This dude, <laughs> how you know? Uh, what was he hey, like? Come on, I'm dude. Not nah, dude. <laughs> not him. Nah. So tell us why me. is it why is it real reality? Yeah. <sighs> Honestly, because um, like niggas be saying reality, like what's shit reality or that's not reality or you know what I mean, but it still don't even be real. So it's like. There's a difference between reality and real reality, like really sitting down and breaking some shit down that you really got to think about. And you're talking about your lyrics really specifically, right? Yeah. Just the pic, just the picture in general, like mm-hmm. you mean the vibe, the lyrics, the delivery, all that is just real. Like, is this song that you perform going to be on, or is it just kind of like a yep. yeah? It's a bonus cool. track. Period. Oh, it's a bonus track. Nah, it's, it's right just on there. Yeah. <laughs> All them shit is bonus track. Yeah, so so that was the world premiere of that song then just now, right? Yeah, you didn't hear that yet. Word, yeah, nice dude. Yeah. yeah, breakable. We love that. That's one of my favorites, man. I have like we didn't get to record that together, right? So, yeah, so I'm not as familiar with it as I usually am. Like if I record and mix them, so it's kind of fun. Yeah, to just jam to it like a fan. That's though. That's produced by you. No, I know. I mean, that's what I like about it. Not the most, because I, I, you're one of my favorite rappers. I mean, but that's what I like about the second most. <laughs> so, um, okay. But I was going to bring it back to the real reality. So, you said it's because you're being real. What do you feel like you did differently in this project than other projects? Because from listening to the song, and obviously I've seen other songs from you, I feel like you're always, you know, spinning the truth. Speaking facts, so I feel like, what do you feel like that you said now or made it real reality? Um, first of all, this is my first real project, so okay. you know what I mean. Um, but as far as anything that I didn't say is like, I didn't say so much real shit, but I still didn't even like, you know. Yeah. Still cut him some slack. So this <laughs> shit right here is no slack. Yeah, I'm not cutting no slack. Yeah, it's separation time. <laughs> okay. You got to yeah. separate. You know, Stop. like. Men from boys and shit like that. Like, what do you mean by that? Like, I mean, um, out here these days, especially with this internet stuff, you never know what's really going on. Whatever you put on the internet is perception. You know, people mm-hmm. think that's reality. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I feel like with bro, like seeing him grow, like from from younger to now, you know, being a father, like you know, he's he's looking at things different. He's moving different. Facts. Like his life is real. Like he's doing honorable things on on the court, off the court. You feel me? Like on the music, outside the music. You know, things like that. So just watching them grow, man, and and watch them take care of the responsibilities. Like I feel like this this tape is right on time. Mm. It's like it's gonna balance everything out, you know. Everything's watered down right now, in my opinion. I feel like really, you feel me? So I feel like it's gonna be a good one. I'm excited. Nah, honestly, this shit couldn't have happened at a more better time. Duh. Honestly, yeah. Just because you at the right point in your life to drop this type of project, just like the right shit's going on right now. Yeah, you know what I mean, like. Positive and negative. It's like it's just a perfect balance that like niggas need to hear this shit. Mm. How are you feeling about the climate for rappers in Boston right now? Do you feel like it's good timing as far as that goes? Um, I as far as like the outside looking into it, like being in Boston. I mean, there's a lot of aspects to it. I think you know, there's what people feel how like people perceive it, how it really is inside. You know. I feel like there's, I don't, I'm not going to say like there's better music or like better shit going on because I feel like it's always been good music coming out of Boston, but it just, 
what's going on? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't, as far as that aspect, I don't really know. I, yeah, I'm going to say yeah because there's mad shit going on out here that's like it wasn't really going on. But it ain't really as far as the music. It's just the off, you know what I mean? Off screen shit. Like, mm. that's like, I right, yeah, they really fucking with us now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah. We were talking earlier about how it can feel like there's a lack of support here. And I definitely catch that sometimes, you know, as far as, I don't mean, I don't mean I catch it personally necessarily, but like, you know, a lot of the shows I feel like are less attended than they should be. You know, I went to a great show at the Middle East the other night, last day was playing, um, Feed the Family and everything. And like, the music was incredible, but it wasn't packed out. And I don't really understand why that is in this city where there's a million students and shit, you know? No, facts. Um, that's tough, man. Um, I agree. There's, there's a lot of talent in the city. Um, people, a lot of good artists, a lot of good people that perform as well, too. So, But I, then again, you know, it's here or there because I've seen performances where it's lit and it's packed out. So it's like, yeah. mm-hmm. I can't, you can't just say it's always, you know? No, it's definitely not always bad. You know? so, I feel like a lot of times when it is crowded, though, it's just all other musicians. Yeah. Which doesn't really help, you know? I mean, you know, that goes with the curator part of it. You know, you got to have the right balance of people. Like, I feel like the chamber probably sounds, it's probably going to be lit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So as long as yeah. you put the right people together, the right the right venues, you know, the right people to, to spread the word, it should be, you know, should be a go. So I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I feel like the people, the people fuck with us. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, they always did. They always going to fuck with us. So I feel like they support us. But I feel like people like, like artists, as artists ourselves, I feel like sometimes we don't be supporting ourselves. Like, mm. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like we be kind of making people scared to support us in a way. I don't know. But I, feel I like get that. What you mean by that, bro? Basically, like, I feel like on the outside looking in, people are like, it's too much. Like, it's like, where do I go? You know what I'm saying? It's like, I think people's too focused on making the wrong turn. You get to a certain point, it's like, damn, do I fuck with this? Do I fuck with this? Do I fuck with him? Do I fuck with him? As the artist, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like that's because niggas is doing that to themselves, you feel what I'm saying? Like, it's mad crab in the bucket shit going mm-hmm. on, mad hating shit going on, mad weird, you right. know what I mean? Unnecessary confrontations. Right. It's like, people be looking at it like, damn, like, what do I do? Like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just a fan. I'm, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, mm. you feel like the the lack of connections that people make, or, or maybe the aver- like aversion to making connections makes it hard for fans to latch on to shit? Yeah, basically. I, I, I don't know. My fault. Go ahead, Naughty. No, you're good. What was you yeah, going to say? I don't know. I feel like the support part of it, I feel like we get a lot of support. So, like, yeah. I feel like to say we don't or to say act like, you know, people don't want to see us win, I feel like that's, that's mad selfish. Like, you know, I've I seen a lot of artists need to come and go. I've seen a lot of artists grind hard that I think is talented that, like, you know, never really got the attention, never got an interview with Dallas Rose. You know what I'm trying to say? So it's like. That's hard to get. Yeah, I know. You got to be that good. <laughs> you feel me? Pacing no people. <laughs> not, not you personally doing interviews with people, but I done seen people that I no disrespect are undeserving of half of the shit. You mm. know what I'm saying? That's like, so it's, it's really just, you know what I mean, what you got behind you and what, you know what I mean, how you present yourself mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and how you come off to the people, really. Is there anything that you're changing now with this project as far as your marketing and, and how you make people perceive you? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a little more narrowed down, like, as far as where I'm at and who I'm in connections with. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, really thinking of long-term shit, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't just really going around... You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. oh, you, oh, yeah, let me, I'm going to record you. All right, cool. Let's go book a session. Nah. So as far as how I'm moving, I'm moving, like, more personal. You know what I'm okay. saying? I feel like that really matters. And, like, to touch back with, like, the love in the city, I feel like one thing you have to realize is we're all trying to chase something. We're all trying to get to something, and it's, like, hard because we're all doing it, and we can't all be everywhere at once. So I feel like that's kind of where you was coming from. But I do see when people feel like people aren't supporting them, but I feel like, People don't work hard enough to make themselves known. Like, it's not easy. They just expect them to be, it be given. Mm-hmm. And I think once people see that you're working, you're going to get your love. You're going to mm-hmm. get your flowers. That's a thought. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's going to come naturally. And you've got to be patient. That shit's not easy. Nobody got, got it overnight, and everybody keeps right. going and hustling. So, 
you know, shout out to y'all for getting the love and making sure that you maintain it. Like, make sure it's uh, it stays. Genuine love, too. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of people be trying to force the people onto them. Mm. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My dogs. No, bullshit. So, Especially right now, everything is algorithm-based. So you have to let it come. Mm-hmm. You have to put your shit out there and hope that it's going to find your audience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? But I think, you know, as far as support and love goes, that's when... And, and branding yourself, you guys have always been killing it with at that with Shooter's yeah. Music. You know, I think anybody who's familiar with hip hop in Boston has to know about you. Facts. You know, definitely. You guys do all Blue types part. of cool shit. You know, mm-hmm. the fucking I love the uh, culinary competition. Oh, the culinary who won that? Cook. I forget who won that. Oh, we didn't. Come on, we didn't man. It was you. <laughs> we don't know. Chef we Cabo. Know. Yeah. Hey, look, uh, hey, we didn't drop it yet. Oh, um, you didn't drop the winning. Okay. We, we yeah. didn't drop. Nah, we we were, it's season one. Man, we got three episodes in season one of the commentary cook off. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's drop. He's kind of trying to line up with the tape, you know. Couple got a. I'm, oh I'm, wow! I'm, I'm got a spoiler, man. Couple goes against um my man K and Pop Out, man, for the um for the chip. So. Oh Pop, wow! Dawn, Pop so, Out. That's the same. I see Pop Out back there, dude. See that, <laughs> Pop Out, can you cook well? Okay. I felt I felt so dumb, dude. That when you guys posted that shit, I commented because I like to cook. You know, yeah. I commented. I was like, oh, I wouldn't want in on this. And then yeah. I realized it was called like the commissary cook off, and I was yeah. like, "Oh, I don't think I." This commissary's is food, bro. Wow. That's food. That's food. Yeah, but is it like? Didn't you mean like commissary? In, in, no, no, no. That's canteen. That's oh right. commissary. Commissary. Okay. I, also, because you guys were using like like toasters and, and microwaves and shit, yeah. it seemed like it was like the, the ground. <laughs> I was rules, just right? the real the people in. Come on, <laughs> I don't know like, everything like, right that's, now. That's real reality. Come I'm not asking you to re- reveal, but now that's now I know there's more. Now I know there's more. No, I still want to watch it. I think it's funny. That was a little teaser for the people. Y'all gonna love it. That shit is exciting. Yeah. It's entertaining for real. What made y'all like come up with it? Y'all was just chilling. Was y'all high? Mm-hmm. I feel like y'all was high. Hey, you know. Y'all was like, let's just make some food. <laughs> I'm gonna y'all keep it high. with you. I'm gonna keep it <laughs> No bullshit. We do shit like that off camera. Right. Just like, right. Might as well just cook them on. Yeah, we just spiced it up a little bit with the aprons and shit, but that's regular shit. <laughs> nah, like, that's you know, it's so many nights. I would wake up to three o'clock in the morning, Snapchat from Cabo making some old, disgusting, crazy. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm like, yo, but cut it out, bro. So, yo. you know, yeah, we eat What's the craziest combo? Oh my goodness! Damn, wow. like the ill stoner combo. Everything's crazy, um, but some you wouldn't think of otherwise, unless you was high. Like your go-to, maybe like I'm. Damn, I honestly don't even know. I I'd, I'd eat everything crazy, honestly. All right, but you get back from the bar, you smoke the blunt on the way home. You didn't really eat dinner. <laughs> Pull open the cabinet. You grabbing ramen, you grabbing mac and cheese. What's like? What are you I might make it? a sandwich. Mm. You could definitely make a. That's kind of. That's like down. That, that you gotta yeah, really be like down girl. to your last soup to really yeah. make a, just a ramen and mac and cheese. I mean, that's a good snack, no? That's all right. I like yeah. ramen if you hook it up. Not a sandwich though. You're not throwing that in a sandwich. I might no, do a, a sandwich. sandwich. At, no, you at said you thought you thought you said I'm ramen sandwich. No, yeah, that's crazy. No, no, no. I said or a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, but that's not going on a sandwich. sandwich though. Or or a sandwich. Yeah. Not on. But it. Not that. Right. It would be ramen no. or like a ham and cheese. Yeah. yeah. Saying, or peanut butter and jelly. I be eating full ass meals at three a.m. I'll come home mm. drunk and I have some rice, chicken. Are you cooking that though at three a.m.? No, it's like already food that oh, was from. That's, that's, yeah, that's oh yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Okay. I thought it was crazy. I thought it was a fat ass. Nah, cooking no. something at three a.m. is crazy. Be so hard on yourself. No, I've cooked. <laughs> Don't be so hard on yourself. <laughs> I've cooked it at 3 a.m., but that's only if it was like I was on vacation or some shit. A full meal, though? I don't know if it was a full meal. It, I can't remember. But I know we've cooked. Me and my friends have come home drunk as fuck and just cooked and made something. So what's it going to be then, Kappa? What's the move? Uh, what? At 3 a.m., you, you, what do you eat? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, man. I might... Throw some peanut butter and jelly on some mm. pancakes. That's another one. On some pancakes? On some pancakes? Look, throw them off. Look. Yeah, throw them I off. I knew he was going to have some advanced shit, going with that. Yeah. I knew he was going to have some advanced shit. That's See? why I, I wanted to know. Yeah. Damn. Damn. You going to put syrup <laughs> too? Yeah. Wow. I have to. Kids sick. Wow. That yeah. sounds good. Have you, so you've done that? Yeah, plenty of times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, do that tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I might do that shit too. I think I got some Bisquick. Oh. Yeah. Do you make the pancakes fresh? Yeah. You kind of have to, right? Because you're not yeah, really going to have yeah. pancakes sitting get, around. Yeah, what type of pancakes <laughs> you getting made already? Maybe you got some Eggos. Nah, not That's a waffle. <laughs> but Eggos, they have the pancakes. Oh, ones? they have pancakes too. I've um, never seen an Eggo pancake. The mini ones. You ain't never seen the mini pancakes that never, are frozen? Never. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Chilla, what's I your meal? 
I seen those before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See? <laughs> what you go to, Chilla? Oh man, damn. You know, I usually man, um <laughs> yeah. Usually man, I like I, I do something with mac and cheese usually, you know, like okay. I might bake the mac and cheese, right? Might fry some fish with it, you feel me? Wow. Before at that. 3 a.m.? At three Yeah, you be doing yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Or fish and grits, like that's you know. <laughs> wow. Yeah, come on. I do that all the time. Fry the fish. My boy right here. <laughs> My boy, right? You ever seen somebody like fry fish on a grill? Like no, on a, on like a little, on a, the three the three prone, a little quick grill with oil. That sounds you dangerous. You can't get all the secrets up, but <laughs> tune into the commentary cook off. Um, you gonna see shit like that. You gonna see okay. all this <laughs> different shit going on. Um, yeah, but yeah, man. Um, in. Yeah, you know. I feel like we gotta um bring it into some what's it current events. Like, in a minute. Okay. I have to ask Chilla. Okay. Oh shit. We talked about Shooter's music. Yeah. There was two people that were in Shooter's music for a long time mm-hmm. that <laughs> I've, always, I've always been a fan of, you know, but I know that you guys had a falling out and that a lot of shit yeah. was said. You're here on the show. I wanted to give you a chance. I wanted to know if there's anything you want to say about that. Um, yeah. Um, it's very, very, very distasteful, you feel me, um, to see people I know I looked out for, out of love, I know I've done things for, and I know they can't say they've done things for me that came anywhere close to that. So it's, it's very detestable, but at the same time, I can, I can say it's not unexpected. Um, you know how I go, like, um, I feel like us, not, not, it's not even just me. Like, I'm, when I speak for Shoes Music, it's bigger than me. There's a lot of people that's involved. There's a lot of people behind the scenes. A lot of people sitting down right now. There's, there's, there's JJs, there's YJs, there's, 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 there's Punchies, there's people that, you know, for together. There's, you feel me? There's, there's Hefners, there's Chirac, there's people that, you know, play a part in this thing before these said people have come across, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And it's like, all them people I still have relationships with, you feel me? And if I don't, we know why I don't. You feel me? I'm trying to say, like, we, we came to mutual understandings, like, we have conversations as men, you feel me? So, when there's people that I know can, that I can see in real life, or they can, they have no, they can, they can ha- contact me anyway, and I, the first time I hear about something, the first time I hear about it is on an interview. Mm-hmm. That's kind of like, all right, like, I feel like you're trying to sell records or something. Like, I don't really feel like it's really real, you know? So, um, yeah, it's, it's different to me. I mean, um, like, really, like, me, Carpo, Pop Out, others, like, we done, we done had toy drives in the neighborhood. We done did different mm-hmm. things. So it's like there's plenty of forums where you can come and voice, if you feel any type of way, there's plenty, you know, places you can come. Like, if it's a place that you're from or a place that you, you're repping in your music and things like that. We're doing good things. You feel me? Like we've been doing good things, but now we're really doing good things in a, in, a, in a large scale. So, if you can take it to not come to that, but you can go to wherever and talk about somebody that you know have done things that you know have done things for you. Like you feel me? It makes me feel the way I ain't gonna hold you, but at the same time, you know, like everything happens for a reason. I, I ain't gonna lie. The load has been lessened um, mm. when it comes to the, the, the old girl. Um, we, shout out KT. Um, you feel me? KT's home and all that. Um, yeah, he, he introduced me to her and things like that. So with her, the story is disgusting. Really, um, I done looked out for her. Like, I can't even say things on the camera. Like, I'm talking about, you feel me? It get deep. Like, mm. I'm talking about, like, I ain't even trying to, like, tch, you feel me? Like, I done pulled all resources that I could have to help people. You feel what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. I, I, when people didn't have housing and people don't have house, I, I done pulled resources, like, real life people that's has nothing to do with music. Grown, you feel me? Grown people. Can you do this? Bang, I'm trying to get you in here to shelter, whatever you want to do. And you blow my people off, and it makes me look bad. You feel what I'm trying to say? And that shit behind the scenes, they'll never tell you about. They'll, they'll, they'll never say shit like that. You feel what I'm trying to say? They'll never say all the times they don't hit me up, ask me for whatever. M- m- fuck money. Money's, I don't care. Money, money's whatever. Like, money is, is nothing for real. Money's made to be spent. But the shit I did out of love that they'd never done for me, that they didn't care to have a conversation, nothing is just moving weird and, and, and going out their way to get my attention on the social media shit. You got people sending me shit, A, B, C, D. Um... Yeah, that shit's, that, shit's, that shit's corny, um, especially when they didn't really know what's up. Like, there's a reason why they, we've never had these conversations, because they know the shit I done did for them. They can't even... You got, you got the girl, she got 23 videos on her YouTube channel, and you put a dollar for one. Naughty, you, you, you rap? How much video costs? 
<laughs> no, but it's like, a like, band. It's a band. From, 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 from the recording depends. it, from recording it, from the beats, from 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 you feel me getting a videographer, from getting a location, you might piss space it, from getting the outfit, not for nothing. And people's not coming built up. No As a girl, it's not easy. It's no definitely not easy. It's, no it's so, way more than niggas. Not, not even for and, nothing. And, and no disrespect, but back to the real reality mm-hmm. part of it, it's like I'm a, like when I when the shooter thing first was going on. I'm just a, I'm just a man out here, you know. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a college grad, or whatever. Like. My responsibilities are myself and, and looking out for real, for whoever. You feel me? Like now, I got two kids. Now it's just different. My time gotta be, my time gotta be valued. I can't, mm. I can't book videos for certain girls and, and she don't come to the video. Me and the cameraman's and she's not answering the phone. And you feel me? And I'm trying to explain to him what's going on, and I hear from niggas two days later. Oh, oh like so, it's, it's it's so much shit that goes on. But at the same time, I, I would never care to bad muffle because it's out of love. Like I'm trying to help people out. So the fact that. I don't know. I feel like that shit. That shit's real different to me. Um, but you know how I go. Like you see what's going on. So I was disappointed to see it. You know, because yeah, I always enjoyed you guys as a team. No facts. Um, and it sounded like there was some type of misunderstanding yeah. that sort of led to the breakdown. No, I know this is in. I'm keeping it hundred. It's just hate. Um, yeah. Realistically, it's just hate. Um, there's 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 plenty of things I have, have been shown or, or people have been showing me. They give me the ass to kiss, and for the sake of everybody involved. I just take it on the chin, you feel what I'm trying to say? I don't care to, 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 to fuck up relationships with someone might be cool with someone else. I don't care. So when people show me that, I know better, but I'm not going to even run into him, run into this person, run into that person, because it ain't about me. It's, it's, it's the program. It's the, it's what, I mean, it's what we do. All of us done come in here to make everybody look better. You feel what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like, we all done gave each other rides, and we all done, yeah, bro, whatever you need, A, B, C, D. So it's like to act like you don't got support or to act like you're not, or people don't want you to win. It's yeah. different. Like yeah. niggas done drove my car. Niggas have It's different for the video. Like it's different. Do you feel like so, you would have a conversation with either of them? No, never. Because mm. the, the the time came and went. Um, respectfully, like respectfully, I I got texts of people asking me for A B C D E F G, but you don't ask me if you feeling away or ask me yo what's up. And it, and and I can say this now because I didn't see people in real life and. Yo, I had to try to come Oh, bro, like, yo, I feel like shit's weird. This is this is years. This is you feel me? Like me and me and dog Ben fell out years ago. Realistically, now it's coming to a light because I don't know because I don't know. But me and him, Ben ain't rocking tough. Ben, you feel me? Not unfollowed on the gram, whatever you want to call it. So, but at the same time, I don't take it personal. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. the four agreements. I don't know if you ever read that book, the four agreements, bro. You can't take things personal. So it's like, I know it ain't me. It's just you know, maybe it's the mirror effect. Like maybe people look at me and don't see what they. I, I don't know. My, I don't know. Mm. I mean, I've been here to help. That's it. So it's like. Do you feel like there's anything that you could hold yourself accountable for? If there's anything that you. Um, really? To hold myself accountable for? <sighs> if, like, you really had to. I don't know. Because I feel like there's always a balance. Like, yeah, I don't yeah, know. I try no, to no, do no, that. No, 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 no bullshit, Naughty. No, like, like I, I don't, I don't mean, like, people really gave me their acid kiss a while ago, right? And when I, I peep it, like. When I peep it, like. I'm not. I'm not on social media. I'm not gonna sub. I'm not. Doing that. I'm gonna just. Cause I'm the type of nigga like. I, I don't care to go out on my man. I don't care to, to you know to 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 oh my yeah me and whoever. I don't care to, to to break people apart. I care to. I'll take the short for my man every day of the week. Yo, bro, you feel the way, bro? My fault. I'm tripping, bro. Or, mm. So I'm, I'm gonna ask you what's wrong. And, I, and I've done this. I've done this on social media when I first seen certain shit years ago. Like, yo, what's going on? We talked through it in the text. It no, no problems. Like, there's no reasoning for it right then. I see more shit. A couple months later, I see people in real life. Yo, what's going on, bro? It, Yo, it ain't, it's another reason, you feel me? We squash it, yo, maybe, I'm, bro, my fault, bro, all right, we cool, bro. And I feel like a couple months later, the same shit happening. I'm the type of nigga, like, I don't like to make the same mistakes. Mm. And it's like, if nothing changes, nothing changes. So it's like, like, to answer your question, to chop it up, and then what, in, in three, four months, we do doing the same shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not with that, like, when you have no reason, like, you feel what I'm trying to say? So it's like, I don't know, it's weird. That's a tough one. It's weird, it's yeah. weird, you feel me? Yeah, bro. Right. What's the realest situation you ever faced, Capo? <laughs> realest situation I ever faced? Yeah. The realest reality. <laughs> and we appreciate you sharing, Chilla. Yeah. No, you know, it's nothing. No bullshit, bro. Like, I handle shit. I handle shit the right way a lot of times. But I feel like the Realest shit that I ever had to do was hold people accountable. Facts. Hmm. Like, just had to really right. 
stand on business, like, with certain people that it's like, damn, nigga, I don't even want to do this. Hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Can you think of a specific situation you feel like you have to tell tell somebody about themselves? Or, like, and did it go well? Or was it like, nah, you bugging? Um, How many of y'all really hold yourselves accountable, though? <laughs> Cricket? I'm just kidding. Hey, Rachel, you're all Y'all supposed to raise your like, hands. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but go ahead. Um, I ain't going to really get into too too much details, but right. um, I'll be having to tell people about themselves every day, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> no no bullshit, but um, yeah, it's just so much shit that's like, even transpires back to... The beginning of times, I was like, I even thinking of now, it's like, I right, yeah, I can't even, mm-hmm. I can't do that no more. I can't even, you know what I mean? I can't fuck with you no more. I can't mm-hmm. go here no more. I can't move like this no more. You know what I mean? And I, because I used to be like, I don't give a fuck. I, you know what I mean, do what I want to do, honestly. Mm-hmm. But now I got to really do what I got to do, you mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. So that's really like the really shit that I had to do was like really fall back from a lot of shit. And was it? The realest and, and the most challenging because it, it required a lot of change, personally. I wouldn't say it required a lot of change, not on my behalf, but mm. it just required a lot of consistency. Really, okay. like, um, required a lot of she really just consistency and like being firm, like on my word and. You know what I mean my way I'm moving and whatever the case may be, just being. That feels fine. better though, right? Hell yeah! To live that way. Yeah, it's my beneficial. Honestly, I should have did this a long time ago. <laughs> it's much more peaceful. <laughs> <On> dogs. <laughs> you know what isn't peaceful? That Baltimore bridge. Oh yeah, talk about real reality. <laughs> real see that reality. Shit? <laughs> yeah. That, that shit's was fucking crazy. crazy. That's not funny, but that was scary. Yeah, it's crazy. It's that so crazy, crazy, like it makes you kind of chuckle. You know, sometimes you laugh at fucked up shit, right? Because you're nah, sick actually, in the head. That was no chuckle. That shit's scary. No, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that's oh. fucking, that, I ain't going to lie, though. Honestly, that shit was just random to me. Like, that type of shit be mad random. Did y'all before. see the movie Leave the World Behind Us? No. So yeah. on Netflix, is this movie, Leave the World Behind Us, and, like, yeah, the whole awesome. cyber attack or whatever. So all the ships and stuff just start crashing. Uh, Teslas are driving themselves. Like, it's like the computers are just not working, not functioning, and you can't manually change it. So that's literally when I saw it, I was like, because they're like, the power went out. You know, I'm conspiracy theorist, like, number yeah. one. Like, I'm like, so is all the cars about to just start? <laughs> Hopefully it was just an isolated incident. What type, was it to one of them open bridges? Or was it like No, nah, it's like, like the Tobin Bridge, you know, like a big-ass bridge so over, what, what over the... power went on the boat? The power on the boat, yeah. Oh. So in, in the video, I don't know if you can find it, Jim. In the video, you know, you see the boat, it fucking, it, the, all the lights go out, and it's just floating, and then the lights kick back on. And then it starts turning. Oh, here we go. Check it out. So, yeah, you can see the lights are out. I don't even see it. Is it that he's big about thing to, in the he's about to, Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's the boat. Jimmy's getting it going. He's about to hit play. Okay. <laughs> right. Dude, what, what f- makes me fucking go nuts is all the people driving across right before it happens here. And then they, there's nobody so yeah, on the power bridge. power goes out, they... and then it kicks back on, and then you see that black smoke come out. Apparently, that's the generator kicking on. Jimmy was telling me earlier. He tries to turn it and brake, and then he goes right into the fucking thing, dude. Did any cars, like... Yeah, like 20 people um, that were on the bridge are missing, I think. Oh. More? There's workers on the bridge? Oh, my God. No fucking... I heard that they got a mayday call and stopped traffic a little bit, but look at that. Look at those people going over right there, dude, right before this shit happens. That's scary. I didn't see this video. I just saw the picture on go. thing. Look how fast it goes down. Oh, my God. Here we go. Boom. Whoa. Damn, that shit That's why I don't like bridges, bro. Dude, the whole, how does the whole bridge just That's fucking go down? Oh, here's the big, the big angle. Look at this Yo. shit. Dude. That's the longest oh. shit. Man. Right? Oh. The That's whole fucking so thing. crazy. It's in the water in an instant. It's not like the action yeah. movies where there's like a piece hanging and the rock is fucking picked. Yeah, they made it seem shit. like at least you got time. You could possibly get it while it's like, yeah. it went down on this side, this side, and then. You just fucked. 
in the water all of a sudden. No bullshit. I feel like in, instead of putting lanes and traffic for bikes, they should probably do that for the boats. No bullshit. Put a lane for a boat lane. <laughs> Where though? That's a good point. They got bike lanes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> can't do a boat lane. Like, you can't that's, do a boat. That's more dangerous than it's a bike. It's like another side river that the boats go down, right? Yeah. There's no bridges that's and shit. Crazy. And it was huge. Yeah. Why? Like, why was it even coming that way? Does that bridge even open up? I mean, I think that's what I don't get. You can go under it, huh? No, huh? Yeah, so I know, but does you know how normally the bridge opens up for it to get through? Doesn't need to, so they can just go under it. So but if you run into the fucking support, then it's going down. Oh. <laughs> right. What's the odds of that? Right. That's crazy. There was a ship, there is a ship lane. It's right in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, right. That's crazy. No, that's I like, you know, prayers out to everybody's families. Fuck. Um Yeah. That's terrifying. Hopefully it was just random. Hopefully it wasn't a terrorist attack. Not even just a terrorist attack, like AI, not AI, you know I'd be freaking... Cyber attack? Yeah, but... I mean, that's terrorism, isn't it? I guess, but what if it's just aliens? <laughs> aliens, <laughs> That's a, that would be a huge yeah. conspiracy. Yeah. Why would aliens bother to do that, though? They come all the no, way here from... like trying to take over our satellites and trying to take over all our stuff. So they like take out a random ship they're in testing Baltimore? It. They're testing it, I don't know. They're I'm like, well, this is the first <laughs> yeah, one. I don't think they're going to... I'm like, this they is the They don't need to one. test it. They came here, they traveled like at warp speed to get here. They don't need to test shit. They'll just start zapping. You don't know them? I'm assuming. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you guys brought the guys. I wanna I wanna talk I'm to some pop, of them a little pop bit. Out. Guys. You pop out to pop out. Pop out's out here. Guys. Pop out, man. You want to start pop out? Do you want them? Oh. Yeah, just take a take chill seat, bro. Take a seat, broski. Don't don't sweat the headphones. Okay, and pop out. Welcome back to the show. Pop out. Hello, Boy, hello. have a seat. Get comfortable. Uh-huh. Pull that mic into yourself. What's up? How are you? Hanging in there, man. Just been doing a lot. Main focus is getting to this bag right now, man. I'm trying to make a foundation, make a change. For sure. I like it, dude. What you been? What you been at though? Like, can you tell us, or are you trying to keep it secret? What's nah, nah, yeah, yeah, man. I'm a, I'm a big league player, man. I'm like LeBron James in the <laughs> nice. league. Man. Oh you wow, get that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's coming in. Nah, I'm doing, I'm doing a couple things right now. I'm working two jobs. I'm on my mentor stuff right now. I'm working with two mentor programs. I, I helping out the young ones. I mean, I go through there, talk to them a couple weekends, a week, and stuff like that. I mean, good for you. That must make you feel dope. good. Yeah, it made me feel good because, you know, I, it's a, it's, right now, it's a crazy game right now. A lot of people's lost in the mind, you know, and they need someone to talk to them because a lot of times people don't know when they tripping. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, You're talking you know, about youth specifically or everybody? I'm just talking in the general aspect. What are you I'm talking about the world. What are you seeing in the youth that you're talking to? Uh, What's I going on with them? Yeah. When I'm talking to them, yeah, like. Especially a lot of them from like one. Well, mic in front of your face, sir. Um, a lot, especially like a lot of from where I'm from, like you know, from the city, from the state, and the streets, and all that. Most of them is in the streets, so you know when they come through, we kick it with them and stuff like that. We do little meetings and groups, and we and we just ask them certain questions, like yo, how y'all feel about this? If you was in this situation, what would you do? Da da da. See what they say, and after every question, every every answer, we'll talk to them and be like, yo, listen. Either that that was a good idea, or you can take this route. You can do this. You could do that. Mm-hmm. And um, there was a point in time where I needed that, so that's why I do it. Did you not get that? Um, it's not even that I ain't get it. It's just um, sometimes when you get taught certain things, that's what you do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, it's just like when you're talking to God, a lot of times you can speak a lot of things into existence, just like how I spoke my freedom. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You got to believe in a lot of stuff that you're doing. If you don't believe in it, it ain't going to happen. Mm-hmm. What do you That's mean you a, spoke your freedom into existence? Like, a day. I, I used to tell myself every day, I'm a free man mm. because I know the truth. I know me. Not even that, though. I used to talk to God way before I even came home. I was sleeping one time. I was in a cell with the gods. And um, I had a dream. I went to trial and got found not guilty. I woke up in the cell to my bro shaking me like, yo, bro, da-da-da. 
I'm like, he's like, yo, you good? I'm like, yo, bro, on dead dogs. I just had a dream. I went to trial, got found not guilty. He's like, nigga, that might be a sign. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, bro, the craziest thing in my dream, as soon as they said not guilty, a beam of light came down just like that. And a voice started talking. He said he was God. I'm in my dream. I'm bugging. I'm like, oh, in the dream. Yeah, okay, I'm yeah, like, yeah. yo, God. Da, 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 da. He's telling me like, yo, he sees, he sees who I am now. He sees what I'm doing. Da, 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 da. He was going to bless me with my freedom. That's when I woke up to the God shaking me. Da, da, da. And then like a year or two later, I go to trial, and the same thing that happened in my dream happened in real life. It's before they even said not guilty. I'm looking at the jurors. I'm, I'm in my head like, yo, I've seen this before. As soon as I said my dream, they said not guilty. You know what I'm saying? Ever since then, anything I said I was going to do when I come home, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Ever since I came home, I've been doing that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For That's sure. what you got to do. How much time did you, did you lose in prison? Uh, I did a lot of time in prison. Like, this is the longest I've ever been home since I started getting locked up. Wow. And it's sad to say it took me to fight life to make me want to sit mm. my black ass down. <laughs> On some real Should've shit, listen though. to Nina. <laughs> I, I, was, I was talking to grandma earlier. I'll show you right now. We was on the phone for like three hours and some change. Yeah. And she was preaching to me the whole time. And the craziest thing is I wasn't even really looking at the time. I was just... Listening mm. the whole time she was talking, like yo, baby, da da da. And the craziest thing is, that's who I used to kick it with in jail. I used to call my grandmother and my shorty, and they used to preach to me all day. Yo, ah, mm. I used to just let it all soak in. And late nights, I used to be in the cells looking out the window at the nighttime sky, talking to my man, like, hey, yo, anything they told me, I'm gonna go home and do. And I da da da. Even with the guys, I used to be on the phone with cop too. They used to be like, yo, we doing this, we doing that. When you come home, you got ah ah. I used to soak that in. I used to be in the cell like, they out there living it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's crazy because you can really pray and dream about something and live it. I used to be in jail dreaming about doing shows and music videos, wake up and write the song mm-hmm. I had in my dream. Duh. Those be the best songs. Dog. How many, have, you made, have you made some of those <laughs> songs? <Seth? Duh. laughs> have you made some of those songs and videos? Yeah. Like, yeah, that must feel good. It's, it's crazy. What's one piece of advice you give your younger self? Or even, like, you tell your students that you mentor? Um, keep it going. Whatever you believe in, chase it. Mm-hmm. It's sure. going to happen. Yeah. If you're uh, capable. If, you know what I'm saying? Right. Some people are, like, you know, undersized and they want to play in the NFL. Like, it's not going to happen. <laughs> you asshole. No matter how hard they chase it. You, know? <laughs> you never know. What if they're, like, picking up the towels? It just, just doesn't. They get close enough or something. There's no real Rudy stories like that out there. <laughs> you're not playing. Oh, man. So, you have a couple questions for them, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, I want to know, with all the guys here, like, out of shooters, who's the best writer? The best writer? Yeah. The best writer, I might have to give it to my man, Shaw Street. Yeah. Because when he write, that's the poetry. That's when he's dropping the, the albums and the mixtapes, and it sounds like a long-ass poem. He's really talking. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, there's other guys that got the turn up music. Shout out my man KT. You listen to him, you want to get lit. Mm-hmm. You see Quanto, what I'm saying? Quanto. You got the other dudes. You got the guys like me. They listen to me. They hit the pain. They da da da. I got dudes that really hit me up. Like, yo, bro, not for nothing. I heard your song, and the whole time I was just daydreaming. Like, yo. <laughs> Be like bro. that. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Who's the best freestyler? The best freestyler? Probably pop. Fire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, yeah I was play, about to you say. You play any beat. You put we, a country beat on right now. That nigga. Like, Y'all have some shit. We, we used to be in the corner on the unit. Yeah. It was it was to the point where the CEOs was just letting us do it. They was bumping to the music. We used to be banging on the windows, making beats, freestyling. No yeah. Going nuts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you freestyle, are you usually like doing stuff that you kind of have? Or are you really like in the moment like this pillow, that, that table, that? A little bit of both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I could go off the top, or sometimes we go right there. Like, sometimes if I hear a beat, or like, like if we just go on acapella, that I will, I'll go, I'll think about something. Or if I hear a beat, sometimes I'll think if I got some to it. If not, I'll just go off the top. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For sure. Who's the best rapper? The best rapper? Yeah. Shoot his music. Period. Yeah, that's I was about to say. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> that was a good answer. I can't really, I was about so to say much on, like it's, you getting hit from so many different yeah, angles. Yeah. It's like because you got the us right now. Then you had the ones from before, like YJ, JJ, 
Hefner, da da da, like Shama, every oh, Chubbs, exactly. Like yeah. yo, everybody that's a part of it make great music. Like when you really tap in and really do the digging, you listen to everybody. You'll really hear everybody's talking. Okay. You mm-hmm. like, damn, I, sh- I wish I'd been heard this song. <laughs> Somebody changed your life back then. No bullshit. <laughs> All right, what about if you're going to like a function or something like that? Is there any, is there, who's the one that like you kind of need to warn people about? Like, hey, this dude's cool. Like, you but might act kind of crazy, drunk. but he's cool. <laughs> Um, I feel like, uh, like as far as like, on some wild, on some wild shit. I mean, it could be for <laughs> any reason, you know. But sure. Um, the one you gotta look out for when you leave in the club, like or if you leave in whatever, wherever you were, <laughs> you just know. Yeah, you, you look back nah, and you like, bro, you good? no bullshit if in I'm, the room, especially <laughs> if I'm out lit at a function and, and we getting drunk. The I, one person I gotta keep my eyes on. It's probably my nigga y'all with no bullshit. Let's get y'all on the couch. Come on, sit down, bro. He's my twin. Yeah, I was saying the same shit in my head. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on Mercs, I was in my head like, hey, yo, that's my nigga y'all with dollar song. You All right, let's meet y'all. Let's sit down there for a minute, Papa. Y'all, yeah. That's no right. What's up, y'all? Welcome to High Street. Have a seat. Get comfortable. Pull that mic in. You can push it up a little too. We're doing good, bro. So you get you get a little crazy, dude. You seem so so reserved. <laughs> I'm the lit the one. Ones. Yeah, you know I'm the lit one. I'm the college guy, man. The D1 athlete. So you oh know, yeah, we play basketball. Talk your shit, yeah. My yeah. Boy. So you know I bring Where that at? energy. You know, you're a D1 athlete. Yeah, that's crazy. Where do you go? Um, I went to New England College and I transferred to Colorado. Colorado. So that's where you at right now. Well, I was there. You graduated already. So, yeah. Oh, wow. That's Great, it. yeah. And now I'm just working on, I'm going to call in every school right now. I'm the nice. cook, as he was saying earlier, so. And you didn't win the cook That's what I was going to say. I wasn't in it, you know? Oh, oh they season didn't two. want the yeah, competition. Season two. Yeah. Season two. You know, it's <laughs> coming soon. D1 Wait chef. The summer. How you feel? You might take the... I already went, so I don't got to worry about it. <laughs> you know how you don't defend your title? I'm on him, Fox. You're not going to defend the strap, dude? Nah, you nah I ain't going back in there. <laughs> Get my good days. Well, maybe we'll do season one ch- champion. You enter season two. Whoever wins season two then faces in season three. Like a like a finale type show. Yeah, that'd be lit. Be lit. Yeah, you already well. Chilla already you know was making the posts and stuff like that on IG for the for the verse off. So whenever Copple's ready, we here for it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I gotta really push some shit out the bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the man with the oil on the grill. Oh right. So so hold on. Are we talking about a fight like a fire grill, like with fire or a, and you have put that, the charcoal on there, yo, all of that. And then you put a pot of oil. Yeah, but nah, not even a pot. You get the regular pan, you know, aluminum pan, throw the oil in there, let it heat up. That just, sounds dangerous to me. Yo, what? listen, can't right? catch fire? Dangerous. So you're outside. It, it you're could, outside, right? If you don't know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, then it could, but you know, if you're a D1 I, I don't chef. Really do this. I do this. Yeah. Yo, listen, right? I didn't witness this man. Take an aluminum pan, right? Okay. Take wood chips from the playground. Man, that's his favorite story. <laughs> Put it in an aluminum pan, right, with some paper towels and turn that into a grill. Fox. That's crazy. Wow. Fox. That's some CVS shit. So what, did you just light up all the wood chips? <laughs> I don't like, know how he did yeah. that. How did you do that? <laughs> like he said, you know, just like camping. It's like camping. That's a good Have idea to go to a playground. Before? Yeah, I have. When I was younger, I went to camp, did a little bit of camping, you know. Okay. You guys like, like camping? camping? Went in the park. I I've never been camping. I haven't went camping in a minute. I've never gone. It's like I like being there, but I hate sleeping in a tent. I haven't went yeah, camping tent, in a minute. Yeah, that's not it. The bugs, all that. That's they got not the nice yeah, little BMPs. You gotta be in, the cabin. That's you gotta like be in the, the cabin. You can't do no tent. But it's I'll like the mini cabin. ones, though. Those ones are cool, too. It's like one room, and then there's like just glass. That should be fire. I would do that, but I wouldn't do no tent. Mm-mm. Yeah, I'm not trusting no tent. I'm, I believe in mad crazy shit. Fuck that. What you believe in, bro? So were y'all always friends or did, because you do, do you do music or? Not not really. I tried it, you know. I yeah. I tried it a little. He's like, I'm a hooper. Yeah, I'm a hooper. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm the guy that's in the back, man. I'll turn this up, start, you know, dancing, bust out a couple of moves. Get the guys ready. Yeah, that's the party starter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the party starter and Facts. under. <laughs> turn up, God. That's it, man. I'm here to turn up. <laughs> you didn't answer his question, though. What, what You asked him what type of crazy shit you believe in the tent. You scared of bears or something like that? 
all that shit. Yeah. I don't try. And I wouldn't necessarily say scared, but it's like concerned, I, me, like yeah, aware. Me and the bear has no business being in it. Like <laughs> you just gotta scream louder than it. Nah, I'm not, I'm not even <laughs> taking that dude. chance. I think I'm. I think I'll just give up for a bit. I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> give up, dude. But if you just like do me. some crazy ass noise, I, what if you? No. I don't think it's gonna care. Not even just a bear. Any wildlife animal, you don't know what they're capable of. No bullshit. So I'm I'm good on all that. shit. They don't care. That's the thing about the different. Yeah, like a like, dog, like cares. They don't a understand bit, nothing. The bear, they don't. They just like that. They don't know sit down. They don't know <laughs> chill. They don't know back up. They don't know none of that shit. Yeah. None of it. Yeah. Just like he said, I'm, I'm sticking with him on that one. I'm staying in the car, yeah, in the something like that. I'm good to cabin, the RV, do some Ooh. things in Colorado, <laughs> being in the woods, mm-hmm. off roading, and it get it get treacherous. It do. Mm-mm. What right. if Diddy showed up at your tent? You talking huh? spicy? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just saying. Like I was thinking of like scary shit, scary and that would be scary. scary. No, no, he got, he scary. Go back to where he no came disrespect. From. Diddy got bigger fish to fry, man. I ain't, <laughs> <laughs> we ain't talking about no damn. <laughs> that is too with that. That Dude. shit was crazy. Yeah, he's on the run now, right? They say he's going to Cape Verde. I'm just kidding. But then, then this plane land in like the Caribbean or something like that. I know it was a joke. I don't know why people were saying Cape Verde. They just wanted to make a freaking. Maybe it's because it was Cape Verde Women's Day. That's Where y'all seeing this at? Like, is this on the news or something? Where y'all uh, Diddy shit or the Cape Verde Women's Media? Station? No, Diddy really like left to the Caribbean, but he's on the no. road. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, so this shit's serious. No. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah, yeah. They raided Damn, his house. Diddy. Damn. They raided like crazy. I think two of his properties. Yeah, <laughs> Miami and. Yeah, at the same time. They got Christian Combs, Justin. Uh, they had him like arrested in a video. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Cr- the who? Flip on your mic. Who? Human drug Dr- Human drug oh, trafficker? Like, like I like the mic's working. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The human, human and, and drugs. drugs. Yeah, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Honestly. <laughs> human it's, and drug. It's the, in, <laughs> it's the interviews, bro. Facts. What do you mean? What? It's the interviews. Like, that. everybody's doing interviews and saying shit that's like... You see how... The dude from um the Tupac shit, he was doing the interviews and then they came with an investigation on him. No. No. Nah. I didn't see that. Alright, so did you see the shit with um I can't remember if 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 he's if he was Biggie Smalls' bodyguard or or but you're just saying like people just going on interviews and Yeah, just but he talking. was he basically was got into it with Diddy and was doing interviews saying about these crazy parties. Mm. And then now all of a sudden this shit's all it kept kinda, spiraling. Yeah. People started looking into it. Yeah. Damn. Damn. He's fucked though, cause what? It's more He's than fucked. just a party. He's fucked. It's nah, yeah. Once they come, once yeah. they come and raid your crib, it's just something that they. If know. it's the Department of Homeland Security, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, it ain't just no rumors. Like something they just bring in young Miami too. With oh yeah, some of that oh, stuff that's going too? on as well. Ooh. They bring her in the court. They summon oh. to the court, young mm-hmm. Miami, mm-hmm. to testify whatever about <laughs> yeah. trafficking, or doing whatever they was yeah, doing behind funny. closed doors. So. <laughs> yeah, she was doing good for herself too. That's uh-uh. crazy. <laughs> I feel like what's crazy is um, his sons, like his family and stuff like that, like all getting dragged into his bullshit. Or yeah, he does if they was part of it, but like they got arrested. Like you know, what I'm saying the twins, like he got mad kids. But that's <clears throat> that's the cause and effect, though. Like that's it. Don't matter how the type of relationship or how like just certain people you just cannot have around you. They just toxic for whatever the fuck you got going on. Like I don't know. Maybe they. Maybe I don't know what the fuck they was doing, but. Shit. Diddy's the root of all that shit. So, <laughs> I think so. he pissed off some white man. And it's a and it's a frame job. You didn't see that. <laughs> One of them billionaires from them billionaire parties. Maybe he got mad. Then they just started it in a spiral. It started Maybe. with that shit you was talking about. Yeah. And now he's letting it all out Because he wasn't the only one at the at them parties. And it's just like, damn, y'all gonna put it on him? That's crazy. Well, he's a powerful guy. You know, if he got the most money, if somebody could do it, it would be somebody like Diddy to be in charge of that type of shit. No, it he was this. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Literally yeah. was it. <laughs> he said it literally. No, he thinks yeah. it was a setup. I'm not saying it's a setup. I think he was part of it. No, but I'm saying I think there's somebody else. No, like it's the same thing as Weinstein. It's like how Epstein, everyone Epstein. was making. Oh no, Weinstein. Everyone's Weinstein. been making joke. Uh, the 
the, 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 the producer? The, the producer Hollywood guy. guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone's making jokes for 20 years about how Diddy's a crazy person. He's a weirdo doing weird shit all the time. And he's on camera doing weird shit. <laughs> mm. Like, I saw a video today where he paraded up this random white girl. He's like, I seen this white girl on the street. She's mine now. Like, did you guys see that video? He's like, I no. gave her my last name. That's that money. You see him, you see him as the Joker? That cocaine. He was no. a really good Joker. He was a good Joker. <laughs> Oh, he was a good, that was a good scary Joker. Joker. Good Joker. Yeah, yeah. I, mm-hmm. he was a good Joker. I kind of hope that he gets off and then plays the Joker. He's too in good a of a Joker. Movie. No, really I definitely think the, the man is crazy and he did terrible things. I'm not yeah. saying that. I'm just saying he ain't the only one. No, yeah, if he, if I, I don't know what's going on with his shit, but if he is doing anything that he's accused of, like on that type of weird, freaky shit, then we don't need him being no Joker. Like he need to sit on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping he's innocent and then he gets to play the Joker, but. Uh-huh. And also, if he's innocent, that means none of that stuff happened, which would be good for the world, right? It makes it look bad on his behalf because he's on the run right now. That's the only thing that's messing. Oh, it looks like he did. That's the only thing that's messing. He's on the run. Yeah. Right yeah. Now. He's making it hot. That's the yeah. only thing that's you know. That's always that was always the main thing that stuck with me about the OJ case. I was like, all right, if he didn't do it, like, what the fuck was that whole chase about? He was scared. Yeah, he was in the back <laughs> with a gun in his mouth. Like, if he didn't do it, what's you know, what if the police is chasing you? You gotta you gotta run anyways. It don't matter what you're running from. Oh yeah. I'm talking about like physically behind you in the car chasing you. Yeah, right. I'm out. No. Yeah, yeah. But we couple like we know people that literally done things like that and going to run. They're not going around posting themselves on a jet, getting a haircut. Yeah, he don't give a fuck about that nothing. On the he run. don't care. Like, he don't nothing. care. <laughs> That's that money. I'm telling he you, he don't right? care. It's just crazy. But maybe he has to do that so it looks like he's not, he's not wrong, or like so it looks like he's not scared. But nigga, people was posting videos of him, like. At the airport, just pacing around, mm-hmm. like got nowhere to go. Just like you know, that nigga's nervous. I don't know. A lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> a lot going on. <laughs> That's crazy. Do y'all be watching on BMF? Oh yeah, yeah. I think I'm on episode two right now. I'm on three, but like, okay. So, did you see the girl yet? The, girl? Which one? The new girl that they introduced. oh the lesbian yeah well the yeah 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 do y'all okay so people was talking shit about her like how do you feel about her role in the show like do you feel like it was pointless or like like because she's a new character she came out of nowhere well we don't, who is she like and, and as far as like the real story like who who is that a, like supposed to be a real person what up catch me up what's BMF so BMF is black what's mafia BMF family. sorry. How do you know about how you hold on? Look at this. Look at this, on, look on, look on, this guy. <laughs> how do you know about Diddy going to K Verd and on the run for this shit? But you don't know about BMF? I guess it's my Twitter algorithm or something, dude. Yeah, you gotta get some new apps, bro. <laughs> yeah, so he watching the wrong you shit. Raising Canaan, none of that. <laughs> Is it power? Is this power? Yeah, power. So yeah. I know it's about like power. I've never spin-off to power. It's oh it's another spin off of power. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, no, it's it's about a whole a different, different, different thing. Person. But it's, it's the same Meech. universe? It's about Meech. If you it's know about, about Meech, Meech, that's in jail right now, Big Meech. Mm-hmm. In real life? Or? Yeah. yeah. Real, it's a, it's uh, based on our I know his story. name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's based on his life, basically. But his son's the one mm. that's carrying out his life and telling the story and stuff like that. Okay, sorry. I interrupted. Now, I'm, now I understand what we're talking about. No, it's so okay. there's a new character? Yeah, so there's this new character. She's a girl. She's gay. Um, but she's like a power figure in it. And she is basically the other distro in the city for drugs. Um, and... Yeah. You know, there's T. Flannery and um, what? Demetrius. So those are the two. It's Meech and T. They're brothers, right? But there's this other new girl now, right? And she's over here calling shots and shit and fucking with their business. And so people were saying that she's random and she came out of nowhere and they just don't get her in the plot. Um, but who's saying this? Like fans just, you know, or like Twitter, people that... Yeah, Twitter, cause, stupid cause social know, media shit. People always trying to make person. Something. Yeah. Because two chains is in it. What the fuck? Who, and that's why people was getting mad too. Is because two chains, <laughs> little baby, like they're like, what? Do- yeah, he don't even got dreads in there. <laughs> dog, he got an afro. <laughs> when I put a big that, afro I said, Where did his dreads go, bro? Probably he be getting mad quick in the show. Huh? He said so his dreads are probably tucked in the afro wig. Mm-hmm. Right? I know. Yeah, that's crazy to think too, though, because he got big, long dreads. Yeah, he got It'd a regular heavy. size afro. To like, wait, that's I don't know. <laughs> Mm-mm. I gotta check out that series at some point. Yeah, I don't know why I haven't watched it. Damn, you got a lot to watch. Then I know. what's this? Ep- this season three, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to sit down and binge for a little bit. And all the different spinoffs and shit. Yeah, get off of Twitter. Get off. Get, of, off, get off of um, <laughs> Boston Diddy. Media. Get off of Diddy. <laughs> yeah, no disrespect. <laughs> yeah, stay on stars for a second. You guys are right. I'm gonna get stars. I, I don't have stars. That's part of my problem. 
It's mad shit on stars. Yeah? Hell yeah. Have you guys watched uh, the new show on Netflix, Three Body Problem? Nah. You seen that shit, Jim? It's crazy. I think it's my favorite new show. What's it called? Three Body Problem. What is it about? Uh, It's hard to even explain. It's like this wild sci-fi show that's jumping around in time a little bit from like the past to the future. There's some super high-tech virtual reality shit going on. And then basically a uh, lady gets contacted by aliens who tell her not to contact them back. Oh, yeah, that's right. She tells them to come and take them over. That's right. (laughs) That's right. And then humanity finds out that they're coming in 400 years and they have to prepare for it. my type of show. That's what the show is. It's sick, dude. Have you seen the movie um, The Fourth Con? Uh, The Fourth Con? I don't think so. (laughs) Seen Close Encounters of the Third Con. That's my favorite movie. That's like the open That's some alien shit. Yeah. Like that's the craziest movie I ever seen, because yeah. like part of the movie is like, like certain parts of the movie is like split screen, Whoa. and it goes it like shows the new people depicting what happened, and then it shows like the real footage. So basically, like a lady, she was like a um psychology, um type lady, psychologist, mm-hmm. a therapist. Yeah, like in Australia, or some shit. Mm-hmm. But she used to have like sessions with people, and like they'll tell her about. Like, they're basically crazy encounters or whatever the fuck type of crazy shit they got going on. But she was recording these... Sessions? Yeah. So, like, I don't I don't know if this shit was real or not, but, like, people used to be bugging out mm. in her sessions, like, crawling on the couch, like, lifting, I don't know, yo, pulling their hair out, crazy shit, bro. Oh, no. <laughs> but her, her kid ended up getting abducted by a UFO. And they still haven't found her daughter to this day. So I don't know. Something got to happen. That sounds fishy. Yeah, Wait, it's real? No, this is real? This is a real story. Oh, that's crazy. The Fourth Kind. Damn. Fox. Crazy movie. I got to check that out. The Fourth Kind. And what was the other sure one you saying? I'm pretty sure that's a found footage movie. Huh? Mm-hmm. Like uh, Paranormal Activity. Yeah. Like I think it's the same type of thing as Paranormal Activity where it's just really well done in the way that they present it. Like it looks like a documentary. But no, but this is show. about a real doctor from real Australia, situation. like that. She went to jail and everything. At the oh, end so of the movie, that like, she they ended up, she ended up being a um, professor out of coach. I mean, out of college or some shit. In real life, in yeah, real like reality. at the real end of the movie, she does like sessions now, like talk, still talking about it, but not like on a personal level to a class. Mm. But um, yeah, this is a, a real story. Damn, Her daughter really went missing out the crib, and they have not found her to this day. And she said that the daughter was abducted. Did yep. they? They must have investigated it pretty heavily. They Yo, find anything? Right, so this is the craziest part about it, right? She was so crazy, they put police on her crib, like mm. to watch her crib. You feel me? Yeah. Like, or because call. they was doing that, that's why she got crazy. Okay, yeah, that's it. Okay, what would you like to begin? I am actress Mila Jovovich, and I will be portraying Dr. Abigail Tyler. This film is a dramatization of events that occurred October 2000. Every scene in this movie is supported by archive footage. Some of what you're about to see is extremely disturbing. I've never heard of this. Night almost every night. And there's nothing unusual waking you up. There's one thing. I don't know if we should show so too now, much of this, Jimmy. My, my window. Down. Or no, we can talk about it, right? Like, it won't show. It won't, we won't get a copyright flag. Uh, it's a trailer, right? Like, no, we definitely will. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, damn, but yeah, it's crazy movie, bro. Fox, dude, it looks wild. Yeah, it does. Look Are you crazy. sure it's real? It's like like so. They, like you can read the news about this lady. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. They be trying to hide everything. But that's that's Alaska, though. Like, so. We should still know those aliens. I know that's where the most crazy shit happened in them type of places. Alaska's still the U.S. (laughs) And then and all that shit. That's probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's real areas. I have trouble believing the UFO shit. I so no, I believe in that. Yeah. That's what I was talking about. They, they had a police outside her crib. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they had a dash cam video of some shit going on on the top of her crib. Really? Yeah. And the police, like this... All the power went out. The police dash cam video went out. All that. The lights and the whole So the, And the cops corroborated all that. Yeah. They ran in the crib to see what the fuck was going on in her crib. Because when the power shut off, all the lights in the crib like was bright as shit. So they ran in what? there to see what was going on. And she was running around the crib crazy. Like, where's my daughter at? So the, wait, the cops were there when the daughter disappeared? Whoa. That's well. And there was some event. They and it was like dash, she got. The dash cam videos in the movie. Damn, I gotta watch that shit, I dude. I didn't watch that either. I gotta watch that, man. 
Yeah, that's the craziest movie I've That's ever just seen. crazy to me, though, because it's like, why? So was she crazy before and, like, seeing the aliens and then they came to her? Because it kind of sounds like that thing you're saying with the show you're watching, like, maybe, like, there was some sort of contact and then they came and took the kid? Because why was the cops outside her house? Because she was, I so after so many um, interviews, like, she was having, these people started really tweaking out in her interviews. So she was, like, standing for them, like, getting into it with the police, like, oh, um... I'm trying to help these people. They're going to try to get me, so you have to protect me, da-da-da. Woo-woo. But she was batshit crazy. Like, <laughs> they, they really had to see what the fuck she was talking about. Mm. And then that shit really happened. I mean, that would make you act crazy if you were getting yeah. harassed by aliens. Yeah, they locked her up after that. Some more shit. They, she was locked up for, like, 15 years. Wow. 10, 10 years. Five. And she claimed that she was innocent the whole time it was yeah. aliens. And they still haven't found her kid. They let her out. She came home and, and became a professor out of college. Man, so she got accused of doing something to her kid, but then was never ultimately found guilty, or she served fifteen years for it. Yeah, she, she was. I don't know if it was like prison or like a mental mm -hmm. institute. Yeah. yeah, but they got her for ten years. Wow. That's wild. Okay, sorry to burst your bubble. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jimmy, you did the research. So I'm reading this article right now. Okay. <laughs> this bullshit. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's how deep I'd be into these it's movies. Bullshit. I believe. So let me read this. The fourth kind stars Mila Jovovich, the chick from The Fifth Element, right. as Dr. Abigail Tyler, a psychologist sorting her inner turmoil while attempting to guide her patients to a place of mental comfort. Here's the best part. Dr. Abigail Tyler isn't played by Jovovich alone. Charlotte Millichard plays the same character, but she's presented in what the fourth kind claims to be a real-life archival oh. footage. Discussing and depicting decidedly difficult-to-watch alien encounters. It's fiction, of course. But whatever, but this guy's director's uh, film is so carefully crafted, pairing obvious dramatization with fake documentary footage that it becomes a pseudo, a sort of horror grift like nothing before it. Damn. And nothing. Oh, yeah, that's, we could sue them. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you lied to me. Defin defamation. Yeah, that yeah, was bullshit. Yeah, they were fucking with you, dude. Fuck that shit. Ah, it's like Fargo. Tell them you're coming for them. Fargo literally <laughs> starts and says based so on a true story. Start a class action lawsuit from all the people that watched that movie. Yeah. Thought it was yeah, real. I ain't watching shit no more. Say you no. started going around. Like if, I'm not yeah, watching I still want to no see it, dude. I'm glad we got to the I'm bottom of that, that though. Movie. Yo, that's, but that's, that's real reality that. right there. Yeah. <laughs> right. Literally. Right. Well, right. Everybody home Crazy. watching that movie tonight, though. It's a good movie, though. Before we get into this album, we got we're in a dispensary. We're in this lovely place called New Dia. It's the coolest dispensary in town, right? So we got a stoner question. We're, we're getting into re real reality in a minute. If you could design your uh, your dream virtual reality world, I want to hear this from you guys too. What would it be like? Like if I could, like if I could make my own virtual world. Yeah, like a game that you go in and play <laughs> or whatever, like a, a sick ass world. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a hundred, bro. It'd probably be Boston. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I just feel like I don't know. It, maybe it's just because I'm from Boston, but I just feel like like everybody be like looking at Boston and be like, it's like a whole different image that they get. You feel what I'm saying? So I feel like if people could really just come and see like, and not even talking about the bad shit, like just mad shit. I mean, there be crazy shit going on out here. <laughs> people need to see this shit. Okay, but you wouldn't Boston's even like augment it a little bit, like have stacks of fucking peanut butter and jelly pancakes laying around All and shit that, like whatever that? Whatever you want to do. You can okay. That's your go-to meal. You, you walk into the shop and then... Just grab it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Flying cars, anything, own, dude? Yeah, my own little culinary spot. Okay. <laughs> yeah. what, would you, what would you name it? Side Street? Nah. Yo, it's so crazy because I didn't have these... These little fake little um, goals, not fake goals, but like little fake shit that I want to do. If I get, if I win the lottery, I'll do this type shit. Um, and the, the name I had for it was Unthinkables. Ooh, I like that. It, Unthinkables is a real peanut butter. And Uncrustables. Jelly. That's Uncrustables. Uh, no. Uncrustables. <laughs> no. But those are peanut butter and jelly. That's just though, peanut right? butter. That's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Right. With oh, no crust. We talking about the works. Sorry. Okay, so <laughs> it's, it's unthinkably <laughs> good. Works. Maybe the whipped cream, depending on how you feeling. Yeah. But it's just shit you wouldn't think about. Like, it's just unthinkable shit that you would go in there and be like, damn, they got this? Like, mm. yeah, crazy shit. I like I that. That's a no, fucking good idea, dude. I wanted to make a restaurant that has, like, you can make anything you want. Like, if I walk up in there and I'm like, can I have 
this, da, 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 they just have everything. But my shit's gonna be more like Plus every day is gonna be a different. You can't just go in there and say, I yeah. want this. You gotta pick mm. between because I'm gonna hit you with some crazy shit every yeah. day. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know I mean the, Dude, the high I, munchies. I hope you get rich and open that place because I, I I need it now. I'm already rich, bro. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you get motivated to open up Unthinkables. Uh, facts, yeah, we'll probably do that one day. That's crazy. I want to open a I want to open a steak place, and I'm gonna call it High Steaks. That's a catchy that's a good, name. That's a good name. That's good. Well, only to yeah. real poker players like. Yeah, maybe like the tables are like poker tables or something like that. Come on, see? That's and, but like all I want to serve is steaks. So it's like you come in and you get the steak. But it's like different type of steak? Like I, think, no, I think I would just have one type of steak and just be known for that shit. The best businesses only have one thing. There was this, yeah. I forget what company it was. It was like, uh, it was like pizza. Imagine if it was pizza. He's like, right. we don't, and every time we don't got nothing else, just pizza. Don't yeah. ask for nothing else. No wings, no fries, just pizza. Yeah, people like don't know how to just people don't know how to be original. Like you got KFC selling chicken pizza. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Chicken, cheese, and pepperoni. Yeah, it, you're gonna. It does that's look good crazy. though. But it does look good. No, it doesn't. Come it, on, man. That does not look good. You seen that shit? I haven't even seen it yet. But if it somebody made good, it right, right it sounds might sound good. good. <laughs> you never seen it? No, but can if you somebody... Pull a picture, can you pull a picture yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. Like, but if somebody it. made it right, like if you got high and you made some chicken there's and you no making some that right. cheese there's and no, pepperoni... There's no way you can make that right. <laughs> a chicken thigh, che- shredded cheese, <laughs> marinara sauce, and pepperoni. No marinara. No way. Dude, it's got to be so good. Ew. Yeah, the cheats up. Yeah, that I mean, with the cheese that pool, that's like crazy. That well, don't so look good. Does it still have bones? So it's like a tender. It's a tender, basically. No, with it's, like a, it's like a. It's like a. It's KFC. Just biggest shit, bro. <laughs> Cheatseria. <laughs> must have had it all. Come on, man. You're not even eating that. First of all, let's start. Cheatsa. 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 It's not pizza. It's cheatsa. Chicken pizza. I don't know about the tomato sauce. Yeah, me neither. I don't I'm know about none of that shit. I'm good on everything. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Pepperoni with fried chicken, that's a good combo. It's heartburn. No bullshit, weed, no man. disrespect. That's that's heartburn. Yeah, you need heartburn to eat some tongues yeah, with that that's shit. That's KFC chicken, though. Like, that's not you going mm-hmm. in the kitchen and frying up. I like KFC. A thigh, though? Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> that's too much KFC chicken. I might eat like a nugget or like a chicken Wait. little. I'm not eating that. That's chicken too much. Oh, I'll, I'll sit down with a bucket, dude. Bucket, yeah, come different on. Different breed, bro. I ain't even seen him eat a bucket yet. <laughs> He's a <laughs> different <laughs> breed. Yeah, that's. You can damn. eat the Popeye's bucket, though, right? Yeah, yeah Popeye's chicken's all right. Okay. Definitely okay. better than um, KFC chicken. Yeah, for and I'm sure. still not putting that shit on no pizza. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't know. So, no pizza, no chicken. Have you had, uh, you've been to the Boston Pizza Cupcakes place in Dedham? It's nah, like I little mini pan there. pizzas, dude. I know what it is. Each. I was going to go there, too, but I, nah, I didn't even go you there. You got to go. That's just fire you been it's in? It's fucking bomb, yeah. That's I know, so that shit looks cheese. crazy. They have all different kinds. Like, they got the Fenway one. It's like Italian sausage and peppers and onions and shit. Yeah, I don't eat mm. Italian sausage, bro. That's too bad. I'm to go to the mall. Fuck it. <laughs> I was, yeah, I was been supposed to go. We definitely go to the mall. Dog. All right, what, what would your virtual reality be? <laughs> I hate traffic. Okay. I hate traffic. So there'd be no traffic PSG, in your world. Yeah, not this, uh, How do I people get around? In the transport, we could transport wherever we want. Teleportation. Go. Yeah, I like, like that. A, a tube, something. Okay. <laughs> a tube, <laughs> like some Mario <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it like line of sight teleportation? <laughs> or uh, I would say, or I thought would call, teleportation? Like if you've been there before, you can picture it. You can ask. I'd probably say if you've been there before, just yeah. because you know. But if you've seen it in a picture or something like that too, if you got the picture, then mm. you could shoot there. You could go mm. the way you got to go. I was gonna say because what if you never seen it? We did uh, superpowers with some guys here once and confused our boy. He had a cool superpower. It was like that, where his superpower would be if he saw a picture, he could like reach in and pull things out of it. That'd be lit. You know, yeah, so a pile lit. of money, that'd grab it. Lit. Playboy no. magazine. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I'm just trying to think. I'm like, so you could just get whatever you just Google a picture and just grab something out of it, right? Yeah. yeah. You want that whip? That's lit. Go get that it. Bricks of gold. That's lit. Yeah. yeah that's lit. <laughs> oh, I need a screwdriver. I need to Google a screwdriver and fucking bam. Yo, have you ever felt like y'all seen some shit that you know you never seen before, like or went through some shit that you know you never been through before? When I went skydiving, I had that feeling. And you felt like you did this before? No, oh, no, that, that, that I never did it before. I thought that's what you were asking. No. Oh, sorry. Like, De- you talking about deja vu? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. 
That's just real, right? It seems like something. I wonder, the best way I can, like, explain it, like, if it's not, you know, psychicness or something like that, is that, like, your mind just gets, like, a little bit out of sync, like, where you're, like, creating the memory, but also seeing the memory, so it feels like you've been there before. Mm. But, I, I don't know. That. I think that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a crazy way to think. Yeah, mm. right? I think the real thing that it probably is, if it's anything, is the fact that, like, like it's you're experiencing the fourth dimension a little bit. I think you're experiencing your past self. No, I think it's. I think it goes back exactly. to what Papa said. Like, I think it just goes away. Like, you have dreams and stuff like that, and then you have a, something like this going on. You be like, damn, I feel like I've seen this before. Like, I was in this element. Like, well, yeah, because if if you're in the fourth dimension, then you sort of experience all time at once. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's not it's not a linear path that you're on. You can just move she around and see it. anything. Yeah, it's like what that movie Arrival was about. And dreams be another dimension, low key. You know what is just like dreams is AI. Like when you Mushrooms. see the AI art. <clears throat> I don't fuck with none of that shit. Nah, dude? No. Not at all. I don't even like looking at it. <laughs> no you're bullshit. Like, you're I like John like, Connor and the Terminator. Yeah, I feel like they're going to sink some shit by just me looking at the picture. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. I love it, dude. I'm embracing it. Yeah. I'm embracing it. You got to stay away from you, Dallas. Man. Nah, I'm making artwork. I'm making peace with this Yo, shit now. Me up on, you, you get the message from Snapchat? Mm, my AI? Nah, yeah, really yeah that's my Snapchat. dog. <laughs> That's my guy, bro. I'm like, yo, what's up? He's like, hey, naughty. What you be talking? <laughs> I be thinking it's funny. I think it's so funny. Yo, I it, do it on purpose in front of people. Within a couple of years, there's gonna be full virtual girlfriends and boyfriends and shit. He ain't lying. That's not okay. But yeah, I, like, for some people, couldn't get a girlfriend, girlfriend and boyfriend. It'll just boyfriend. be full fidelity conversational video with a fake person mm -hmm. on your device or whatever, yo, what's or your that, augmented what's reality. That, um, What's her. that movie? You talking about her with the robot girlfriend? No. Twenty. It's like um. Maybe Will Smith. Black nah, Mirror. Bro, Black Mirror the, be like that. Nah, it's the white dude. He was living in like Japan or some shit. Remember, he had the girl that he could pull up to in his room. Mm. You know, it's like Blade twenty, Runner. huh? Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Blade Runner. Mm. Facts. Blade Runner. Mm -hmm. He had the shit, the remote that he could pull up. I think they turned her into a real person too, right? At like one point. Well, Anna de Armas, she was an actress, I think, and then like scanned her body for it. Yeah, but I'm saying like in the movie, they made her oh, real yeah. for like a second. Well, like, he got a prostitute, and then the oh, put her nice. on dogs. He went over her. On dogs yeah, he that's crazy. Whoa! Yo, so he put crazy. like a, it was like a hologram. And yeah, hologram he put it on a person. Her. He put it over the hooker. That's yeah. crazy. That's, yeah. that's crazy. That's, crazy. that's wild. Imagine if you could just put like. You will be able to. in London or something. Bro, like you that. will be able to, right? Because once we're all wearing that's these really AR goggles and shit, yeah. it'll be like, like how those TikTok and Snapchat mm -hmm. filters look mad real. It'll be like that through your goggles. You're going to be walking around with filters all day long. Yes. Bro. Oh, duh, yeah, they cheating. Everybody's yeah, going to have a filter. Cheating. You're going to have like your, your custom filter, all that shit. Yeah, they That'd making us work too hard, That'd man. That'd be crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> That'd be crazy. It's gonna be a wild world, dude. You understand though, females gonna do that. You gotta think about what the guys is gonna do now. Listen, niggas is gonna be BBLs. A guy, guy <laughs> could be four hundred pounds. Oh, make yourself a hundred and eighty. You get close though, you'd be like, wait, why am I already touching you? That's what's weird. Oh my god. <laughs> That's some real What if it makes shit. you feel like even the touch, though, makes you think like it's the same? Well, I mean, it might kind of work unless it's a huge difference because your senses like are very tied to your mm -hmm. other senses. You know, so if you think you see something, like if you think you are getting touched, you might kind of feel it a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, or you think you're not touching something, you won't feel it as much. Mm -mm. I don't like it. <laughs> but no bullshit. <laughs> that's like, I don't mean like... <sighs> But you playing with AI and doing all that shit with the pictures or talking to them? Because we're going... Like, no <laughs> bullshit. Talking to them? Yeah, somebody in fucking Canada is going to be talking or touching you. Like, no, they, I don't I'm think so. You're saying you, it's a Canadian on the other end and not AI? <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, if you playing with that shit, right? Yeah. They're going to take your information or whatever you're giving them right. and send it somewhere else to, to your virtual girlfriend. They do that already through my Bank of America account. It don't matter. <laughs> that shit's over. If they're taking my bread, fuck it. I mean, I think if, if, you, I think if you carry a smartphone, like, you've signed it's your fucking over. life It's over. You signed away, up for it a long you time know? ago. So I might as well get a head start. Be, be a little smarter. because yeah, the Apple unlocked that, that like, face ID. Come on. This they've been all, seeing me. Just listening and everything. I... So I don't like the fact that they've got all this data about me, but I do like the benefits. You know, you get, I get constantly shown cool shit. You know, advertisements for products I didn't know existed. 
but they know I'm gonna like it, so they show it to me and shit. <laughs> you know, that's invasion, bro. <laughs> that's no, it's fucked no, up, it but it's it's beneficial. You're the type of people that they like to. Oh yeah, no, I'm the sucker, dude. I'm the mark. I'm the sucker. I'm, a mark. Yeah, I'm ordering this today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know how many times I fucking ordered <laughs> shit? Let me, yeah. Yeah. Let me download this app. Yep. Yeah. New plugin? What? Oh, I'll get that sample pack too. <laughs> There's been times where I've never thought of a product before, and I've talked about it out loud, and then you know, moments later, open my phone and see an ad for it, and I'm like, all right, it's yeah. meant to be. And then you bought it. No, it's listening. You know, like but in a way, phone it's is to listening to my conversation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah. Even though you don't necessarily right now, they're gonna listen that. to us. Y'all page is gonna pop up don't on my. Don't say that. Don't say that. That's yeah. how I feel about don't Alexa. Oh yeah. I, oh yeah. I had to plug my Alexa. I was like, yeah, it's too much going on. Dude, there was a lot of TVs that had webcams and shit built in that they were found to be like totally insecure, and anybody could just hack into these TVs and basically have a security <laughs> camera into your house. What do you say? Yeah, it was just like an IP address. Yeah, just put it in. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I just want to know, like, the person who thought of this shit. Like, a lot of it was Mark them, Zuckerberg. He was, he was he was kind of one of the originators of, what of makes like, you selling think data. Of, like, let me start hacking into somebody's like TV in a living room. That's that's just some weird voyeurism, creepy that's shit, crazy. dude. You gotta just be a creep to do that. Hacking the TV is wild. <laughs> you ain't have nothing else to watch. Wild. But, <laughs> Dogs. I don't know. Uh, like, I want to hear this album though. Yeah. You sure? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm sure. You guys ready? You guys ready to play it? It's been about time. You guys, you guys ready to hear this album? It's about time. All Let's right. get it. We're gonna wrap up the interview then, uh, and uh, uh, we're gonna get to that shit right now. Capo, thank you for coming back, brother. Uh huh. I'm excited about this album. I'm excited, for, I'm excited for all you guys. Thank you for coming tonight. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Make sure you go check out Naughty at the Chamber this weekend. Hell yeah. Um, Let's get we'll it. be back again next Wednesday. Get well, Jerry O. Got me back on my silly shit I could pop shit cause I'm really him Fuck 12, free all them innocent gentlemen Always had the wave, we was never the ones fitting in I might be like 50 cent, I feel like many men Trying to take this throne I've been sitting in One thing about copper, it don't matter, he gon' get it in Trapping ain't the issue, it get easy once you get it in you gotta get it in I lost Molly, lost me, and I've been sipping since I lost Mercs, lost six, I've been tripping since Only at the table if you cooking or you chipping in They don't got no business in, we can't even sit with them So this shit get critical, once you bring them critics in Fuck niggas' opinions if they don't make no differences We done did some different shit, you ain't see that Christmas shit How we moving uh, honorable, uh, still moving militant Said from the eight block active rapper like K-Fuck Whole city hate me, but love me soon as my tape drop Heard your man got killed, so I took a piss in the same spot on live like he ain't telling the way we reppin' the same block No disrespect, they try away but he the cop Always facing life so out here letting straps go You ever shot him but you look shocked cause you was that close I ain't letting pass go, refuse to look or act broke This shit ain't no dream, this is niggas real reality Looked out for snakes and they was still trying to rattle me They no principles, if you break them that's a casualty I don't battle rap, grab a gun if you want battle me Grab a gun if you want gun if you want Nigga, we living in real reality, nigga. Bully from the essence, nigga. Who the fuck all you created ass niggas, cuz? Like, you niggas is bitch, nigga. I don't even know what else to say, God. We just all the real niggas in real life. Like, what else to say? Like, niggas.